Have you heard of the 4 hour work week? I know I have, have you? Welcome to the Magic Whiteboard. My name's Michael from bestbookbits.com, the home of the world's largest free book summary in written video and audio format with over 600 summaries uploaded previously. Jump on there, have a look, join us on Spotify. Today we are going to go through the 4 hour work week. So, join the new rich. What is the 4 hour work week? Done a quick interview with a friend of mine, uh, Magnus McGill on YouTube recently to go through an overview of the show. I've also done a book summary, you can see the link below, where you can listen to that, watch it on YouTube, or read it on our website. So what is the four hour work week? So, the new rich, creating a luxury lifestyle in the present, using the currency of time and mobility. This is the art and science called lifestyle design. So the key here is to use time and mobility to your advantage, create the lifestyle that you deserve, which is the new rich. So that is lifestyle design. Okay, another good point in the book by Tim Ferriss before our work week is people are leveraging currency differences to outsource their life. I use this quite a lot using Upwork.com or Fiverr as well. So using currency, um, in, if you're earning bigger money in US dollars or Australian dollars like I am, and then you can actually pay other people smaller amounts in other countries where to them it's, it's a lot more money. So that is arbitrage like Gary Vee likes to call it. But Tim Ferriss was talking about this back in 2007, okay? So that's currency. Now here's a good point that Tim makes. He says people don't want to be a millionaire. They want to experience what they believe only millions can buy. So it's not about having a million dollars in the bank account. It's about having experiences they believe that millions can buy. They can want to achieve the millionaire lifestyle, complete freedom without having a million dollars in the bank account. So how can you live a millionaire lifestyle without having a million dollars in the bank account? It all comes back to the new rich and designing your lifestyle. A lot of people don't take the time, sit back, write out how they want their future to be, whether it be three years, five years, 10 years, what is your ideal future? Think about it. We are suffering from the famine, creeping dread of a horrible and comfortable existence. Are you suffering from time famine, creeping dread, or a tolerable and comfortable existence. Worst place you can possibly be. Great quote in the book, reality is negotiable. Yes, it is. Reality is malleable. You can change it. It's not concrete. Yesterday is history, today is the present, and the future is a mystery. So you can do whatever you want with time. It is negotiable. You can change. People can change. Animals cannot change. Human beings are the only people that can change. So think about it. Your reality from the past, you can't change that, but the present you can, and the future you can dream about, and bring it forward by taking action. Now, massive thing in the book, it talks about deal. So there's four sections in the book, it's deal. Deal stands for definition, elimination, automation, liberation, okay? Reality is a persistent illusion. So that's what Einstein says. So a little quote by Albert Einstein that Tim Ferriss put in this book. Now, this, now he goes on to say free to multiply. Money is multiplied in practical value depending on the number of W's. So this is huge, right? You control in your life. What you do, when you do it, where you do it, and with whom you do it. So that is huge. So grab a pen, grab a paper, get your phone out, take some notes, take a photo. That is massive. The more W's you control in your life, the better. Options. The ability to choose is real power. The more choices you have, the more power you have. Sometimes the crowd is not necessarily right. Everything that is popular is sometimes wrong. So live your own life. Now challenge the status quo versus being stupid. We are focused on being productive instead of busy. We live our lives being busy, but not very productive, okay? Another one, someday is a disease that will take your dreams to the grave with you. Don't leave your dreams unfulfilled in your head. Write them down, work hard every day, move forward, push forward, do it. Yes, a plug to my book, Success in 50 Steps, the proven formula that works. I have taken 13 years to write this book. This is all about taking your dreams out of your head and putting them into reality. But back with the book by Tim Ferriss. Leverage your strengths instead of attempting to fix your clinks. So this is super important. Now, this is super important. Gary Vee talks about this a lot. Double down on your strengths and forget your weaknesses. The world will remember you only by your strengths, not by your weaknesses. So find out what they are and double down on your strengths. Focus on better use of your weapons instead of constant repair. Lifestyle design is simply doing what you want when you want. So we covered that before. What you want 
when you want. And what we fear doing the most is usually what we most need to do. So I'm going to ask you a question. What is it you fear doing? Because that's the thing you need to do. So your success is measured by the amount of uncomfortable conversations you are willing to have. What conversation do you need to have that's uncomfortable? Think about it. What is it costing you financially, emotionally, and physically to postpone action? What is it costing you right now to postpone action, procrastinate, sit on your ass, get up, do something? What is it costing you financially, emotionally, physically? I'm a massive procrastinator. I wasted a lot of time. Come on, get out there, get up, do something. Now, massive, huge, adult onset ADD, adventure deficit disorder. Get off your butt and travel. See the world. See new places. See new suburbs. Go to new cafes, new restaurants. Try different cuisines. Do something. Get out of your same routine. Adult onset ADD. In the book, Tim talks about having a mini retirement. Okay, We talk about this in depth on a podcast I did with Matlas McGill, which you can watch on my YouTube channel, which should be uploaded there, where we talk about having a mini retirement. Okay, so if you're in your 20s, 30s, take a year off, take a sabbatical, go overseas, live the four hour work week, the laptop lifestyle, or go work 40 hours a week, 60 hours a week in another country like I did. I've done it before, do it, L-I-D-D. -D. And yes, I might have ADD, so I apologize, okay? You won't believe what you can accomplish by attempting the impossible with the courage to repeatedly fail better. Go out there, fail better. The only way to get better is to get feedback. You can't get feedback by not doing anything. You only get feedback by doing, okay? So go out there and do. Now, the most important actions are never comfortable. Condition yourself to discomfort and overcome it. Yes, I might get to a point in life where everything's comfortable. You need to shake things up. Now, COVID shook the whole world up. So we didn't want it, but hey, we got shook enough. Back to it. Pareto's Law. Now, you've heard of this, the 80-20 rule. That is the Pareto's Law. It says 80% of the outputs results from 20% of the inputs. So focus on those 20% that is actually going to move the needle forward 80%. A lot of us only focus on the 80% which is being busy, but not the 20% which is being productive. So be productive. Now, being selective. This is doing less. Tim goes on about this massive. Take a week off, take two weeks off, don't do anything. Sit on your butt for a second. Now, think about this. When you get off your butt, what is those 20% things you can do? The small things that is going to leverage and move the needle forward. So that is what is about being selective. Not doing everything, doing the things that are super important that's going to move things forward. That is the part of the productive, is doing less, okay? Now, massive, huge. Focus on the important few and ignore the rest. Let bad things happen, okay? So focus on the important few and ignore the rest. Welcome to the other side of the whiteboard. Now, if you think I'm being silly, relax, guys. It's just a book, okay? Welcome to the other side of the whiteboard. The time is actually lack of priorities. We all have 24 hours. We all have 168 hours in a week. Yes, we do. It all comes down to priorities. Yes, you can do nothing or you can do a lot. So lack of time is generally a lack of priorities. So you are the average of the five people you associate with the most. Now, this accounts for your network is your net worth. It accounts for your mindset. It accounts for your health. It accounts for everything. So Jim Rohn said it best. You're the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So who are those people? Who do you need to drop in your life in the next 12 months? I've got a quote in my book. It says, drop a bad friend, pick up a good friend, and if you do that once a year, in five years, you'll have five good friends. Sorry about the friends I've dropped. I haven't dropped you. It's just you pick up better friends and the other ones drop off naturally. So do it. Associate with better people and you will become better yourself, okay? It is tried. It's tested. That quote is older than the Bible. It's not, but it could be, all right? You're inventing things to do to avoid the important. What are you procrastinating on that you know you need to do? So just do it, okay? So stop procrastinating on the important things. Now, the low-information diet, cultivating selective ignorance. Now, I've taken this massively with COVID, so I used to be a, a news junkie, a conspiracy theorist, all that. Since March, when it happened, I don't watch the news whatsoever. No print, no radio, no TV, no nothing. I get my news from other people telling me what's happening in the world, and you know what? The world still continues. The moon and the sun still go. So you can have willful ignorance. doesn't mean you're stupid. 
Getting caught up in the daily drama of news, media, gossip, Donald Trump having COVID, it doesn't mean anything to your particular individual life. So have willful ignorance. Tim Ferriss said it best, 2007. He's a forward thinker, a man who already thought about these things and lived it. Uh, Tim Ferriss is known as a human guinea pig. He's a person who's actually tried, tested, and done everything that he's done for our body, for our work week, all the great books he's done, Driver Mentors, all of that. Okay, back to the magic whiteboard. Massive batch activities and create systems to limit your availability. I use this daily. So batch your activities. If you've got 100 calls to make, just make 100 calls. If you've got 100 emails to make, just do 100 emails. 100 text messages, just batch your activities and you will actually do a lot more than this before. Get virtual assistants from Fiverr and Upwork for low dollars. The biggest point I got from this book that I have used and people don't agree with me, so this is a massive, not sure if you're going to like it or not, email is mail. It's not a chat service. This is how it was meant to be. When you get a letter in the letterbox, everyone gets home and they check the letterbox. That's what email was supposed to be. But now we use it as a chat service where people think we have to respond the second it gets sent. Tim says, check your emails twice a day, one about 10, 11, and one maybe at night, or get an assistant, and put your autoresponder to say, hey, I only check emails at this between this time and that time. So you prep the person up who sends you an email, okay? So that is massive, and that will give you time to batch activities as well. So I didn't say this, the four hour work week did, so don't shoot the messenger. Okay, create an automated vehicle for generating cash flow without consuming time. This is basically online marketing, creating a digital product, a book, a service, a course, anything that can be automated where money comes into your account and people can click and watch. So Tim was massive on this back in the day. Don't just think outside the box, act outside the box. Yes, think outside the box, but eventually your thinking needs to push you into action. So act outside the box. Another one, by working faithfully eight hours a day, you may eventually get to be a boss and work 12 hours a day. On the podcast, we just see talking about the book, we talk about the big fat man in the red BMW convertible. So check that out. Scared Tim to absolute death. You know, work eight hours a day only to be your boss and work 12 hours a day. Who wants to do that? Come on, guys. Just for a little shiny object syndrome in your driveway. Not really. Now, liberty means responsibility. That is why most people dread it. Liberty means responsibility. No one really wants to take responsibility for their lifestyle design and the new rich. One thing you need to think about, one takeaway from this is think like a boss. Change your mindset to being your own boss because at the end of the day, no one is responsible for your life, only you are. True, 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 true. If I'm wrong, comment below. Tell me who else is responsible for your life. Who's going to get you up in the morning, feed you, clothe you, shower you? You are. So get yourself right, take responsibility. That is why most people dread responsibility. Now, it's too big a world to spend most of our life in a cubicle. After COVID-19, with everything closing down, I don't think a lot of people are gonna go back to cubicles working from a home studio like this. I think that is the way to go. Life is too big to spend a life in a cubicle. Now remember, all courses of action are risky. Develop the strength to do bold things. To so go out there, all action is risky. Do bold things. Better to think big than to think small. Down with the magic whiteboard. And we are nearly done. The formula for success, double your rate of failure. You want to be successful, fail more often. Fail forward. Fail forward, get feedback, do it better. Okay? A good way to uh, do things right is to do it wrong a few times and then you will get it right. Okay? The person who has more options has more power. So, if you have more options, you have more power. Huge one. Unplug from the obsolete routines and become aware of just how much we distract ourselves with with constant motion. So yes, we're always moving, busy, but maybe not productive, running around in circles, but not going forward. So think about that. We're not just seeking the meaning of life, but the experience of being alive. So you want to experience, taste it. No one can tell you. A friend of mine says, no one can tell you what an apple tastes like. Only you have to experience that taste. You can't read a book about tasting an apple. Okay, drop outdated comparisons. This is, blew my mind this one. Drop, drop outdated comparisons using the more is better and money as success. Again, we discussed this in depth on the conversation we had with Atlas McGill. Check out the link below. 
Life is made to be enjoyed and feel good about yourself. So feel good about yourself, enjoy life, go out there and taste as many things as possible and see what you like. That is the reason why we're alive, is to experience being alive. Now, recognize that the only rules and limits are those we set for ourselves. So yes, we set rules for ourselves internally, but they're under your control. So if you want to change your life, recognize that the limits and rules that you set are for yourself. So break those rules. We're nearly there. We're nearly there, guys. Once you realize you can turn off the noise without the world ending, you're liberated in a way that few people ever know. And we know this because we're experiencing this with COVID. Yes, we're turning off the noise that normally would bombard us having a mindset. That is mindset. Develop the habit of letting small bad things happen. I have only started to do this. Let small bad things happen in your life. Let your email pile up to the point where it's uncomfortable. That's a small bad thing, okay? So that's what I'm doing at the moment, trying to let small bad things happen, okay? Develop a not to do list to upgrade your performance. So sit down with yourself, grab a pen and paper, grab your phone, write down five things. I'll, I'll challenge you right now. Write down five things what you were gonna stop doing. Things that are, uh, might be pleasurable, but distracting, procrastinating. St create a not to do list. It's huge. Don't create a to do list, create a not to do list, and the to do list will actually get done. That, that, that is the, the point here. And last but not least, we are there. Let's go. It's your life. Live it the way you know it is right for you. Live your life the way you want to live it. Now, that is a little wrap from the four hours work week. Now, if you want me to go in depth with a book, just comment below. Let me know what you think. Uh, yeah, what do you think? Give me some hate. Give me some love. Give me some real shit. My name is Michael George Knight, founder of bestbookbits.com, the home of the world's largest free book summary website in video, written, and audio format, and my book, Success in 50 Steps. Yes, it's a plug. I'm going to leave it at that, guys. Let you get back to it. Have a great day. Take care. And do the four-hour work week. Bye.